So imagine this scenario for your Cypress test. You're writing your test, you have a nice locator, everything has IDs, and your test is passing perfectly. Life is great, right? Well, it depends. Because somebody told you in the best practices that you need to use some special data IDs. And you go to the development team and tell them, guys, can you change the DOM so that I can use them? And somehow they say, yes. But there's one question open. What do you do while they are changing the DOM or until they're changing the DOM? Well, let me show you. There is a way in Cypress to prepare double selectors if you want. So you can give it, give the selector, give the get a valid selector and an invalid selector. And it will check for both. So you can add your data test IDs already and just change them when your test is done, when your DOM has been updated. As always, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye-bye.